yeah happy weekend welcome to our youtube channel thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos i really do appreciate if you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome you're welcome to the channel please subscribe to make yourself a full member of the family like my videos click on the notification bell and select all so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i upload videos on youtube share my videos with your loved ones drop your comments under the comment section i will always be there to attend to you as for those that have been with me all this while thank you i really do appreciate please keep supporting me by liking my videos and sharing my videos so today i want to talk about saraka okay saraka a kind of arms giving okay what this saraka actually literally means is maybe after a kind of sacrifice or a kind of carrying out after carrying out a spiritual work the spiritualist or the native doctor or the pastor will ask you to go and give people something even if it's money food or sometimes they'll ask you to go to the uh, motherless babies to give them something okay so for those that is looking for the fruit of the womb they will ask you to take my food or anything to the motherless baby home when you give them they will pray for you and before you know it by the grace of god you will take him okay some people when you're looking for a job they will ask you to go and give beggars when after praying on the money you give to them before you know it you get that job okay some people anything you're looking for maybe there's a kind of prayer you will carry out the concluding part of the prayer will be giving arms to the blessed privilege maybe a blind beggar a crippled beggar or any beggar or anybody you're better than okay many people do it i equally encourage people to do it what that means is you're indirectly taking their stars you know and telling God to bless you for giving people that you're better than. That is what that means. But people don't know. Okay? Like so there's a kind of work I'll do for you when they say when it has to do with spiritual money uh, monetary spirit and all that. I will tell you after blinding the spirit uh, monetary spirit, I will tell you to go and give a, bl a blind beggar. What that means is once you are going to blind them, that is what it means. You are going to blind those people monitoring you. Okay? Then if you are looking for an, a, a job, after doing the kind of work, I will tell you to go and give people you are better than, so that God will open doors for you. Or you are looking for money, okay? After praying on the money, I will give you a kind of prayer. You pray on the money, I am going to give it to people you are better than, you see, you will start getting money. So you are indirectly blessing them and taking back what, uh, are indirectly taking back from them. Because those people, their stars are good. It's most of these beggars you see on the road, their stars are very good. But because they don't know, they are just ignorant how their condition has made them not to be able to discover their stars. I see people keep taking their stars on daily basis. Okay? So when you take their stars, you use it to activate yours. Okay? So I want to tell us the disadvantages of most of these sacrifices people do ignorantly. You know, in those days, after carrying out a spiritual work, they will ask you to, they will, the spiritualist or the native doctor or the pastor will do a, a, a certain prayer on the money and tell you to drop it on the roadside. Anybody that picks that money, the person star will directly come to you. Okay? I know most of us remember those days. You will be going on the road and be seeing money. Yes, yeah, standing on a very, a very busy road, on lonely road, you see money. You pick it and go and buy something without knowing that something has been taken from you indirectly, ignorantly. You use it as a child to buy something. And when you start growing, say that things will not be working for you the way you used to. Okay, if you're a child that is always lucky, you see that your luck will start reducing. But you don't know where your problem is. You see an adult, you don't know that what happened to you now, what you're facing, the problem you're facing now is something you did years past. Maybe because of five naira you picked on the road. Okay, somebody has taken your star from that money you picked on the road to buy sweets or biscuits. Okay. So when people not started noticing that most of those monies are for sacrifice, they will not go and urinate on the money before using it. And once you urinate on that money, the urine has the power to neutralize any kind of charm and poison. Okay? Once you urinate on the money and you take, pick the money up, nothing will happen to you again. They will not be able to take your star. And what would that would mean? The person that did that sacrifice will not get whatever he requested for. And he will not tempt the spiritualist or the native doctor a fake person because the work he did did not work 
Yes, the work actually was supposed to work, but because somebody that is more intelligent than you has smarted you by relating on the money before using it, so the sacrifice will no longer work. Okay? So when people start noticing that they stop picking money on the road and people stop dropping money, okay? Then I went to dropping food on the road and people will still go and eat ignorantly. So people say some when the woman came down from her car and dropped the food and you eat without knowing that they have taken your stars. They will, they will drop in there you will drink. They are directly taking your stars. Okay? So when people started uh, being wise, they stopped eating those roadside food and those roadside drinks they keep. And people stopped using that method. The next method they started using was giving to beggars. Okay? I know that most of these beggars, their stars are so terrible. Very beautiful stars. So when you give them, you are directly taking their stars and making way for yourself. And they are collecting without knowing. Okay, and once you give them that arms, and when you pray well and give them that arms, you see that things will start working well for you. What that literally means is you indirectly took their stars. That is what it means. Okay, so that, that method is no longer working like it used to work before. Okay, so the next one they, now, they are now doing is through social media. Social media have made things very easy for so many people. So many people. Okay, okay, before social media came, most of, most of these are our ritualists or these are our star, uh, destiny takers. What they now do is calling a kind of occasion during the festive period or whenever they are at home. They will gather people, cook, people will come and eat without knowing that they are taking their stars in the process of that food they are eating. But when you go and meet this, your brother or your uncle for 5,000, he will not give you, but he will open. When, when you come to any party he's hosting, you'll be able to eat something worth of 100,000 naira. But ask him for 1,000, he will not give you. Because he doesn't believe in giving you cash. Believe in that food you've eaten. There are a certain kind of incantations on that food. And once you, once you eat it, your destiny will no longer be the same. I've had a case. After the occasion, there's no leftover food that they threw away. They were packing them to go and complete the kind of sacrifice they, they are supposed to do with it. And anybody that ate from that pot, their destiny will just be, will start having issues with their stars, with their destiny. Okay? So why I'm making this video for people to be careful where they go to eat, where they collect money from, and who they give money to. Okay? Don't have the days you give somebody money, the person will go and use it to do charm on you. People are not giving you to use your own destiny. They are buying your destiny with the money they, uh, they gave to you. Okay, it's not the, the way you, those days that you give an uncle money who can't take your name to somewhere. No. When you give, even people, they're even scared of collecting from you because you want to take their stars. Yes. So the method they are now using is through giving uh, uh, give, uh, give away on social media. You see somebody that have 100 hungry people in his family, you come to social media and be giving millions of naira. Why don't you help people on, that is uh, under your roof? People that need that help in your family, you cannot give to them. Why come into social media to give people money? Okay? So what they do, when they make a, a, a certain incantations of that money, remember you are going to send your full names. So when you send your full name for that transfer, they will make incantations on that your name. Whatever, when, you give, when they give you that money, that money will be useless for you. If you, are, if you used to find 5,000 naira, you end up not having 1,000. They have taken your star, taken whatever that belongs to you, secretly, without your knowledge. Okay? That is what social media has done for this set of people that take people's stars. Okay? When, they, when you hear some people, I know so many people that follow people that give big away on social media. When you hear give away, you see people dropping their account numbers everywhere for give away. You don't know where the person got the money. You don't know the essence of the giveaway. You don't know what the person is celebrating. I'm not saying that everybody's giving, doing giveaway on social media are evil. No. But I want to tell you that 60% of them are, 60% uh, uh, of the giveaways on social media are for ritual purposes. They are taking people's stars indirectly. You see somebody will be giving 1 million on social media. Why he has, he or she has hungry people in his family that needs even 50,000 to survive. But he will not give or she will not give. But he comes to social media and give one million, two million, okay? So what is the essence of that show off? If not for taking your stars, okay? So let us be careful where we drop our details, who we collect money from, when people you don't know, 
even people you know before you collect the money from them pray on the money that whatever if the money is an evil money that is not going to affect you negatively that you collected it to help yourself that god should utilize this money should make this money to be useful to yourself for you okay don't just collect money and start using the more you use the money the more your problems will keep multiplying every day you keep begging okay once you get that money pray on it you put it in salt water allow it to dry and see how that money is going to be useful for you or you renate on the money before using it even if you, they pay it through your account as long as you have gone to withdraw it okay you renate on that money before you use it or you pray on the money before you use it whatever incantations they have made on that money to take your stars is not going to work for them okay please don't take this post personally i'm just saying it to enlighten so many people you know i told you that most of the videos i make here are revelations or the cases I, I see on daily basis okay maybe if i'm having a case based on that i'll come to i'll come and discuss that everybody will be wise and know what is happening in the society okay so please mind how who and who you collect money from on social media okay and who and who you collect money from even in real life even if they give you that money please pray on it before using it to avoid your destiny being bought with that money a small token they have given to you thank you for watching the video to the end please don't forget to like the video share the video drop your comment under the comment section okay subscribe if you've not subscribed that is a way to encourage me to make more videos thank you once again and have a beautiful weekend